This is my worst nightmare for a video. I'm actually sweating, like I'm actually really panicking about filming this. <sighs> I'm a hoarder. I've said it. There I am. I'm a hoarder. I've actually never showed anyone the insides of these cupboards. I'm kind of giving Monica from Friends in that. <laughs> Why am I crying? <laughs> I feel like my tidy skills is the same as my brain. Tidy on the outside, okay. But a mess on the inside. So like my actual room is always like really spotless and cute. But then... You open a cupboard door and it's just a nightmare. I am going to declutter all of my clothes ready for the new year. And I'm gonna do it properly. I'm gonna be really, really, really strict. Like the strictest. Actually, let's have a little sit down first and we'll have a little chat. I have definitely just got way too much stuff. It's got to a point in my life where the anxiety, I know it's only three, right? But when I show you more, I've got some drawers as well over there and a big like, Ottoman, is that what it's called? I live in fear. I'm gonna open the cupboard door and things are gonna just fall on me. That I've just stopped opening them and I probably wear like the same three outfits on rotation every single day because I can't even remember really what I've got. Now is the time to get rid, ready for the new year. I'm also moving in March, so I'm gonna have to do this sooner or later. So why not do it now, ready for the new year? I am slightly panicking because like honestly, like normally I just literally throw everything out of each cupboard in my full floor is covered in clothes and that's what's panicking me so I think I'm not gonna do it like that this time. I'm gonna take it slow. I in no way shape or form am ever gonna be a minimalist but I definitely want to minimalize what I do have because half the stuff I don't wear I can donate a lot of it and just feel like it's a more of a clean nice space. My mum has got clothes from when she was 20 and she's got like a hundred different cupboards just full of stuff that she doesn't even know exists that she's just like carried with her for her whole life. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I've decided that I want to love every single thing that I own. Like, I don't want to look at my wardrobe for an outfit and think mm, will that look okay with that like maybe I'm not bloated I'll, I'll wear that today like just stuff like that. I feel like I've got a lot of outfits and clothes that make me feel like that. So today we're getting rid. Let me show you inside these wardrobes. All right, wardrobe one. Um, nothing's really on hangers, but if I just literally lift this up and show you, things are just shoved in everywhere. <laughs> Next one, exactly the same. That's full. All of this is full and behind it. I've just shoved stuff on there. I've just got loads of stuff just like shoved behind everywhere. Like how on earth am I ever gonna find anything to wear? And then lastly, probably the worst. <laughs> I don't even go in this cupboard because it's just, literally <laughs> ridiculous it's so bad and then i've got all of these drawers which i mean you can already tell are just stupidly packed i can't even close the drawers properly and this big ottoman which is also just a nightmare <laughs> Okay, when I've seen people do these, they do like one round and then they go through like another round and they like that idea. I think I'm just gonna go go down once of things I definitely don't want and then again and we'll we'll go through it. Okay, right, well I just got started then. I've got this knitted thing and this knitted thing. I don't wear them but I did wear them on holiday. Maybe I should put them in my summer box. I don't love them. I love the green. This can be a maybe. I'm gonna put the maybe stuff on in here. I've got this blue top. I always keep it because it goes nice under this one jacket that I've got and I didn't wear it this year at summer. I think I keep it because it's like my favorite color as well and I don't own anything that's like my favorite color blue. She's had her time. She's gone. Again, this is good on holiday, but I didn't really wear it this year. I've got this like knitted top like this, but it's a little bit see-through. Every time, I, I love it, but then whenever I put it on, I end up taking it off because I feel uncomfortable in it because I feel like you can see my nips. But I love the shape. Getting rid. This blue satin top, it used to be like one of my favorite tops and then I've just never wore it again. And again, I just think it feels, whenever I put it on, it just feels a little bit cheap. <sighs> I'm doing really well. Got you proud. I do actually really like this. It's from Motel Rocks. Just a little thing. And it feels a lot better quality and I do, I do quite like when I wear this, so I am going to keep it. This little cute top is good for summer, but again, I don't think I wore it this year. 
I'll put it in the maybe because I think it's a good summer top. This is part of a cord, which is in my summer box, so I'll put that there. I got this literally not even long ago. It's a unitard from Zara, and I've literally I bought it and I've never ever wore it, but I think I just forgot I owned it. I think I want to try it on and see what I think about it because I, I don't know whether there's a reason that I've not worn it because I love the colour, but maybe it's a bit too intense of a colour. Yeah, I've been holding on to this top for the longest time because I absolutely love it. And I don't even know why I love it so much, but I love the colour. I think like it's gonna be one of those tops that I get rid of and then regret it, but I never wear it because I don't wear silver. I can never wear it because I've got no jewellery to go with it, but I just love the top. But you know what? I can get another one, which I love more, which I'm actually going to want to wear, whereas this, I never want to wear it because I don't wear silver, so let's get rid. Oh, I like this. This is, I got it from a charity shop, actually, and it's a, um, where was it originally from? It's from New Look. I think it's quite old, but it's got, like, a little tie and I do quite like this just to shove on in summer, so I'm going to keep that. But I had such high hopes for this top. It's one of those, you know, the backless, really pretty tops. But again, you can see my nips, so whenever I put it on, I take it straight off. So, it's going to have to go. This top, I've, I've been holding on to this top forever. I got it from Primark, and it just reminded me of Emma Chamberlain, and I thought, I feel like I'd look quite cute in this. But... Every single time I put it on, I take it off because I just don't think I suit turtlenecks. I don't think I've got the face shape for it. But I think it's such a lovely top. But I'm not going to wear it. Someone else might love this a lot more than me. Instant regret. No, it's fine. Oh yeah, I've got that top again, which is backless. But actually, this one doesn't feel as see-through. I might keep this one. Or try it on again at least. I think I'm going to try that on again. I've got this top as well, which I got from Bershka. And I've never actually worn it, but I think it's such a lovely top, so I don't know why I haven't. So then I'm going to try it on again, because I think I might wear I think I'll probably maybe wear this this year. I think if there's a few items I'm unsure on, I might just like keep hold of for another month. If I don't wear it in another month, then get rid, because I'm never going to wear it, am I? This, I never wear. Get rid. Long sleeve top. I just feel like the colour washes me out. Get rid of that. This is my most favourite jumper of all time. I'll never get rid of this. I'm going to keep her. Um, this is a skirt that I wear all the time as well. It's just like a little mini frilly skirt. I'll definitely keep her. Oh, okay. I've got this top from Zara. I literally bought this year. I got it online and I remember when I tried it on, I was unsure. I think it could be nice on holiday. But whenever I put it on, I don't feel like that nice in it. I'm gonna try it on and then we'll report back. I've got this cream top. I'll definitely wear that. I wear this quite a lot, so I'll keep her. I've held on to this for about three years and I've never wore it. It's from White Fox. I just think it's such a pretty top, but it just doesn't fit me right. Like I think I've got no boobies. Like, it just doesn't really do much for me. I always put it on because I've got like really like nice outfit ideas in my head for it. But then I try it on and it just looks crap, so I just take it off. But I wanna keep it because I love the top. But if I don't love, if I love the top, that's fine. But if I don't love it on me, what's the point of keeping it? I'm so proud of myself for doing that because I've been, I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I've just never did. But a little red one shoulder top. I do like her. I think it's a bit see-through, so I'm going to get rid. I've got this other unitard, which isn't see-through, and I love it. I'll keep her. Grey top, I wear it to death keep her this red bodysuit i never wear it even though i think it's so cute and i love the color i'm gonna get rid i've got this orangey peachy bodysuit and i just i think it just washes me out I'm gonna get rid of that as well this top i absolutely love it with my whole entire heart if anyone wants it let me know because it's just the prettiest top ever don't know if you can see but i always take it off because that just it really accentuates the no boobage <laughs> and i've had it for years and i've never ever ever wore it like it's still got the tag i think it's time to say goodbye i haven't actually wore this in ages but i do love it so maybe i would wear it again <sighs> maybe <laughs> i'm gonna keep it for now maybe i'll put it in my summer box because i do actually really like it i do like it but i don't i think i prefer the ones that just go on your arms rather than that go across your neck and I never ever wear this, so I am gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna keep these, because I love these sleeves that you put on. Just These are just the arms, so I'll definitely keep these. This shirt's got a hole in it, so it's gonna have to go, even though I love it. Mini crop top, I don't like the length of it. It's, I think it's a bit too cropped, so I'll get rid. I love this blue top. This is like one of my favorite tops of all time. Hold on, I'll never get rid of this forever. I mean, it's a bit saucy, but like, it's not really. It makes me feel like a little fairy. So I'm gonna keep her. I've got this blue top, it's backless, it fits really nice. I always get complimented when I wear it. So I'm gonna keep that. Got this bodysuit from House of CB, love that, keep that. These two crop tops, every single time I wear them, I end up taking them off because they just don't sit nice. This is broken, so I'll get rid finally. I always think I'm gonna sew it together and I'll never do, so. Got this black top, which is backless. I've actually not wore it yet, 
and I was gonna wear it this summer and then I just didn't. I'll give myself a few months and see how I feel maybe with this one or I'll try it on in resus. This yellow top, never wear, get rid. This is my favorite dress and I love this. I'll keep them both. This top is good just as like a throw on. It's just like a cream throwy on top. I'm gonna keep that because I do wear it quite a lot. I got this from All Polly and I put it on and I did like it, but it's just not my style. I think sometimes I try and make things work for me when it's just not my style it's like a corset top and I, and I think again i think it's the color i do love the color but i'm not gonna wear it so i'll get rid of it this voice you know i told you how i've got like three outfits i rotate between this is one of the items it's a like a long sleeve top from motel and it ties like around your neck like that and um, it is really cute i'm gonna keep it because i wear it to death a cropped blazer which i do like i've actually not worn it yet but i only bought it like the other day so it's not too bad my favourite top of all time, it's from House of CB. I got it on Vintage. That's like my, I want to look good outfit, so then I just know what to put on. I've got a corset, which I wore for... <gasps> I've got this brown top that I've actually not tried on yet. I'm going to try it on and then see if I like it. This black top, I haven't yet to wear, but I think I will wear it this winter. So I'll keep it for now. What else is in here? Oh. Oh. This needs to go. It's a dress that I got for a ball from Meshki and it catfished me and it's not cute. And I'm gonna get rid. I've just got that back bomb. What's in here? Ooh. Oh, it's paint. This jumper is my most favorite thing ever. It's so comfy. Sisters and Seekers, so nice. Oh, it actually smells lovely. I'm gonna keep, does this smell like me though? Who is that? These from Jack Wills, love them. I'm gonna keep, well, I'll try them on, but. Joggers, key, love this, key. Brown jumper, I never wear it, but I do just think like, why don't I? Cause it is just a nice plain jumper for the winter time. I'll try it on. I like a random wig. Like why have I got a wig? <laughs> why have I got a wig? Stupid girl. Corset for Halloween, get rid. I could keep. Maybe I will keep the costumes actually, not the wig. I think the wig's taken it a bit too far. But I think everything else I just think means I don't have to buy a costume next year. That's not very minimalist of me, is it? But also it's saving money because why do I need to buy a costume and I've got two perfectly good ones here. So really sensible. Oh, okay. I've got this. I got it from Sisters and Seekers years ago. Every time I put it on, I take it off because it's a bit, it's not big enough. It is big, but like I'd, I'd prefer it to be a lot more oversized. So I'm going to get rid is very overwhelming okay random bag of clothes i'm not sure what this is i'm actually quite embarrassed making this video like why have i got so much ooh what is that <laughs> no that's not mine whose is this get rid get rid okay i'm getting through it i'm getting through it what's in here <gasps> my cap oh my god i've been looking for my cap Oh, if any of my friends are watching this, it, this is the cap I was talking about. I do like this in summer. I'm going to keep it for now. These pants, which I do love, but I always take them off because they just don't fit me right. But I love, I always keep them because like, they've got a really nice texture. But I do think it's time to say goodbye. This green top, I love it, but it's a bit see-through, so I always end up taking it off. So I am going to get rid. This though, however, love this. It's just funky. She's cute. That's good for this time of year. I've just opened the box that I thought was filled with shoes and it's more clothes. <sighs> Look. Oh my God. I'm gonna hang up all of this rubbish <laughs> and bin bag that and then have a coffee and come back because I actually just can't deal. I made myself a cup of tea. I've pulled this box out. From that cupboard. I'm gonna just sit and do it and watch Modern Family for a bit. It's like a long sleeve bluey colour. It's got the matching skirt and I never wear it even though I do love it. I always think, oh, I will wear it at some point. But obviously I don't love it enough to not want to instantly wear it. 
Like when I've got an event, I don't think, oh, I'll wear that. I think, okay, what can I get? So I think it's time to say goodbye because someone else might love that. The same as this. I've got this little skirt in top cord and I always just feel really naked in it. This little skirt, way too short. I always keep thinking that like maybe I'll wear it one day. I don't. This top, it's from Monkey. It's actually just like a plain black top, but I always find that it's just a bit too cropped. Oh no. Okay. I've got this dress. It's like a tight, sparkly... I've never wore it and I always think I'm going to wear it on holiday because I think it's such a nice holiday dress but I always feel a bit naked in it because it's like tight and also cut out so I think I'm going to have to get rid get rid oh keep her pink dress get rid of it a blue hoodie where's this from pretty little thing I forgot I owned this this might be a better hoodie than the other blue one I've got I'll try this, I've got two, basically I've got two blue hoodies. I might try this on and see which one I prefer. Lilac corset, never wore it in a year, even though I love it, I've not wore it in a year, so I'm not going to. Little denim skirt I wore for Ibiza. <laughs> denim skirt or hairband, I'm going to get rid. Okay, that wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad. Covered one is done, kind of. The first round of covered one. <sighs> this is my donate pile. I think we're not 100% donate pal. Should I do some squats? No, I can't. Okay, hold on. What I'm going to do is, okay, I'm going to put all of my summer stuff. I'm not sure on these, but I'm going to just keep them and put them in my summer box. And then at summer, we'll do another one of these. For now, I'm just focusing on what I'm going to wear in the next few months. I don't want to get rid of, like, summery things that I might potentially want to wear next year. Okay, I'm going to hang these all up and then we'll get started on cover two. Okay. Everything's hung up. I'm gonna go through this again before I call this one a day, but I'll do it at the end. Um, but I've just, I've literally hung up everything, like even, like normally, you know, like just plain vest tops. I would normally put them like in a, in a drawer, but I've like hung them up and stuff just so I can see literally everything. Right, let's go on to this one. <laughs> I've got trousers and gym stuff. <laughs> Ugh. This one definitely feels less overwhelming because there's, I feel like there's less in it. Right, and I'm going to leave the things on the hangers, I think, for this one because I just can't deal with that situation again. I can't believe I did that. This skirt um, is really cute, but it's too big. So... These pants, I've never worn them ever. They're really ugly. They're just like these black pants. I used to wear them for work, but I'll get rid. My big cream pants, I do love these. They're a bit stained on the bottoms. I've not worn them in a while, but I might take them home for Christmas and see if my mom can fix them. These cargoes I'm going to keep just because they're good to throw on. Oh, I've got this dungaree set, which is so nice. I've not worn it yet, but I refuse. And I know I said I haven't worn anything in a year. Get rid, but I actually just love this so much. Kind of cheating, but I do want to keep it. <laughs> oh, okay. I've got this skirt, which is really nice, but it's a bit see-through. So I'm just going to get rid of it, even though I really like it on. I always end up taking it off. These pants, I've had these for the longest time. They're just like some cream leather pants. But I just don't think they really do much for my body. They're not giving body oddy. And I've, I don't even think I've ever worn them. So it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> okay, I've got these jeans, but they've got a little split in the side of the leg. And I always keep them for like, to have like a smart jean option. But I've not worn these in probably about two years. So I am going to get rid. Long red skirt, that can go in my summer box. Oh! This is the skirt that goes with that top that I said before, you know, the red one. So I'll put that in some of the box. Pink skirt. I love it, but it's just a bit big. So I'm going to get rid. Oh, long maxi skirt. That's good. Keep her, definitely. This is another one of my favourite skirts for summer. So I'm 100% keeping this. Right, these pants, I actually love them. But I never, ever wear them because they just, they fit, like they sit on like an awkward height so i am gonna get rid of them gym stuff i'm gonna just get rid of anything that i've not wore in the last month for the gym because i'm so i'm such a hoarder with gym clothes but i'm also really specific with like the kind of clothes that i wear for the gym like there'll be something that i love that's really cute but then i won't end up wearing it because like i'll be scared that i'll sweat in it and i'll like see my sweat patches or like it doesn't fit me right or it's like it, it falls down but i'm like oh that might wear it at some point i won't woohoo look at that look i can see the back of my cupboard god i please tell me i want everyone to comment on this video and see how proud you are of me because like i mean the floor is still a tip um <laughs> But it's fine. On to this one, and then once I do that one, we'll do the floor, we're gonna do the bathroom, and then 
see how far we are. Okay, this one feels also quite overwhelming because I've got loads of shoes in this one and I'm also like a huge shoe hoarder. Um, we're gonna just do the jackets first. This is like more like my outerwear and dressy outfit cupboard. Again, I think I prefer the whole keep them on the hanger vibe. If I can, <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Maybe there's too much to keep on the hanger. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take out some, just so I've got more room, and then, and then we can put them back in. Okay, this jacket, I got it from a vintage shop and I love it. I haven't really worn it loads this year, but I do wear it in summer, so I'm gonna probably keep that. I do love this brown blazer, but it's just really big. And every single time I put it on, I take it off because it's like almost too oversized. Oh. blue set it's like a blue bra top and blue trousers really cute but i just i just don't think it's my style anymore never wore it so i got tired i'm gonna get rid yellow jacket i wore this for some headshots it's so ugly get rid blue leather see again i love this but it's just a weird shade of blue that like i think washes me out so i'm gonna get rid i've got this big like, jumpsuit i've not worn it yet some pretty little thing and i've just not wore it and i've had it for a year so i'm just gonna get rid of that I'll get rid of this red dress because I don't think I'll ever really wear it. It's very, like a little old poly dress. Oh my god, I've had this old poly dress forever and I'm going to get rid of it. It's just like a tight one, but it's got like holes in the side. I just feel like I'm too naked when I wear it, so she's gone finally. <laughs> I wore this dress at Anastasia's birthday party and I thought it was so cute. And then I looked back at photos and I looked horrendous. So she's gone, even though it's gorgeous. My little varsity jacket, which I love. Okay, on to shoes <laughs> get rid okay i realize this one i haven't done as well on this <laughs> as the others but i actually have got rid of so much stuff it's obviously all my going out stuff and also my jackets and then blazers yeah i'll probably revisit this in the summertime but for now i am i've got rid of loads of shoes these are just the shoes i've got left um but yeah so so far this this and this which is not bad Hi everyone, so it's a few days later. I'm gonna continue the declutter. I'm gonna do my bathroom and then go back over all of the cupboards. I was actually feeling a bit crappy and I was gonna put makeup on and stuff. I've basically woke up and I've got, I've came out in my skin looking literally the worst it's ever looked ever. And I just kept on getting upset about it and I was like, you know what, I'll put some makeup on for the video. But I actually just don't want to, so. Please ignore my skin. Let's get the bathroom sorted. And um, basically, I've got quite a few things in there that... So obviously I don't live on my own. I live with my best friend. So not all of this is mine. That's Leah's. That's mine. And then this is mine. That's Leah's. And then the top is both. So I am going to leave these two and just do this one. I've got way too much stuff in here. I'm going to box it all up and probably give it to some of my friends because I don't I don't use all of it. I don't want to get to the point where it's out of date and then no one can use it. So if I go through it now, then yeah. Okay, so the Rush Posé, I'm going to keep that because I do like that. High Smile, I use that. Inky List or oh, Cleansing Balm is like the best thing in the whole entire world. Fresh Face Skin Toner from Barry M. Basically because of my skin, I've been pretty much stripping everything back so i haven't been using this at all so i'm gonna give this away keep that that's shampoo so that shouldn't be in there I'm gonna get rid because that's actually empty toothbrush which is literally destroyed but i need to brush my teeth so keep that for now toothpaste oh some earrings lovely oh my god more earrings too nice right let's put them in the jewelry box cleanser i'll keep one give one away i'm gonna keep all this rem stuff and this toner this is empty so i'll get rid of that this tan and um, i've got the ordinary peeling solution i've had this for about three years so i should probably get rid of it but it's definitely out of do tan for my legs needs to go on my tan drawl because I don't need that in here so i'll get rid a hair tie nice let's get her out and lashes from a night out tan cute i'll get rid of this I've got this, which it was an electric toothbrush, but I think it's broken. Is it broken? Oh, 
It does feel broken. So face wash, my toners. So that's, that'll be my tooth corner. And then, don't really know how this all goes, so I'm just gonna. And then everything else is either gone in my fake tan cupboard or I'll give to my little sister. That's better. And then, and then my body wash. Okay, that's just stuff I use, so that's a good start. Yay! I'm gonna try on the things that I was unsure about and go through one last time. This top is just so cute and I love it, but I think, if I can remember correctly, it's a little bit see-through. So let's try, I'm gonna put you a bit back a bit, actually. Okay, it's actually not a see-through, but I just don't know if I'll wear it because of like the fact that I probably can't wear a bra with it. And obviously I'm not really into bras anyways, but more just like for the intense nips. So I think this is gonna have to be a no, even though I love it so much. Damn, okay, next. I actually got this as like a hand-me-down <laughs> and I've never ever tried it on. I actually don't, I don't think I'd wear this. I, I can imagine myself wearing it, but I don't love it. And if I was to buy it now, like I just don't think I would. <laughs> the brown just there. Let's put it on. <laughs> okay, I'm keeping it. I don't know why I never wear this. She's cute. I really like her. It's one of those things that I don't even try on. Like I just I just bypass it in the wardrobe, but I actually think it's really cute. <sighs> I don't wear these a lot. I actually think I've worn them once ever, but I do think they're a good dressy pants. So I might keep them for a little bit and then if I need to get rid of them in the new year, then I will. But for now, I'm gonna keep them because I don't have that many pants now. I need to try this on because I just don't think I'm gonna wear it. And I was keeping it because I was like, oh, it's be cute at some point, but we're not wearing it then. Um, it is nice, but this is like a bit too low for me. <laughs> There's nothing really going on. I think it's also a bit too, I don't know, I, I was quite, I'd like this to be like this and this to be maybe like this. So be about, no. You see, if I have to check my boobs out, then I don't love it. I wouldn't be buzzing to put this on, so no, get rid of it here. I have this big green trench. I do love it, but I never wear it. Like, I've not worn it in two years, but I just keep it because I'm like, at some point I might. It kind of smells like fish. <laughs> Maybe I'll give it to my mum, so then if, it, if I want to wear it at some point in my life again, I can. Oh, okay, I'm going to get rid. Okay, I think that's it done for now. I can see my flaws. Which is crazy. I've never been able to see my flaws before, ever. Okay, wardrobe one is looking good. Jumpers, long sleeves, tops. I feel like that's a decent amount for my first ever try. And I can actually see, I can get in these boxes, which is nice. This one is the one I'm most proud of. It's like I really decluttered that really well. And I like how obviously you can see everything. I've got a lot less gym stuff, which like even the fact I've been going to the gym the, next few, the last few days, I've just been able to grab the things that I know I'm going to wear. This, I'll definitely go back through it over the new year. Um, but obviously that was full to the bottom of stuff so and shoes. So the fact that that's all gone is a good start. Right, friends, thank you so much for watching. These are the big bin bags, which are literally huge. If I stand next to them, they're like the biggest bin bags anyone's ever seen in their whole entire lives. Um, I'm going to donate them and sell some stuff. And yeah, I'm going to do a, a part two. I've still got my big drawers and I've got my bedsides, but I'm my kitchen but I just think it's gonna be too much to do in this video. So I'm gonna do that and do a part two. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I already feel freer and better. And now I feel confident that I can actually go on my cupboards and find things I actually like, like pieces that I actually would would want to wear. If you're looking for a sign to do a declutter, use this as your sign. Cause I actually feel a lot better for doing it. But yeah, right, love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in a few days. Mwah.